Remember the ugly Christmas sweater company, Tipsy Elves? Welcome to the Tipsy Elves Fashion Show. This stuff is hideous. They surprised the sharks by selling wacky and clever holiday attire. Last year, we, you know, we had $862,000 in sales. And now they're expanding into new frontiers. We've created a lot of new styles and we're, we're ready to meet the demand this year. Tipsy Elves reports $40 million in sales. One of Robert's top investments on the show. Our company is Tom and Chi. Let's feed some to Barbara and see if she lives. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara not only lived, she invested in the grilled cheese restaurant called Tom and Chi. Everything in my bones are saying this is a runaway hit. It's now expanded to 18 franchises across 14 states. Total sales so far? A reported $47 million. I'm John, and this is my partner, Wambi. It's been just 14 months since Kevin felt the love for the 3D greeting card company, Love Pump. We're tapping into something much bigger, the human need to connect. I was the most nervous at that point over any other time in my life. You What's go. yours, Barbara? Real estate, of course, but his is money. Since then, their company's reported growth from 300,000 in sales to more than 8 million. Kevin says his initial investment has been returned tenfold. He should be very excited. But you are the doctor of, I am the doctor of love. And this was the company that knocked Damon's socks off. Our company is Bombas, and we're here today seeking $200,000 in exchange for a 5% equity stake. In season six, Randy Goldberg and David Heath pitched their sock company and got a lot of heat from Kevin. You guys are still sock cockroaches. Sock cockroaches. He sure did. Oh man, this guy. I mean, Kevin like put our socks on his hands and was making sock puppets. That was good. I'm gonna talk to you guys and you're gonna talk to me. Damon invested in the company. Great decision. And in two and a half years, they say they've made well over $20 million in sales. Shark Tank is gasoline. It just lights up. Let me ask you about the notoriously bad pitches. My company is, uh... Can you tell us more about it? It's so easy. Uh, you, you can do it with your friends. You can do it with your child. He starts fumbling from the moment he gets out there. Mike, uh... Oh my God, I have a headache. I forgot my, you know, my the first three, two to three minute pitch and just froze. What is your product? Um, we, we develop a brand of stand-up paddle boards. And they started making fun of me. I got called a nerd. I think you should stick with being a nerd. In fact, we heard Kevin say, don't worry, it's only your biggest moment in your life. <laughs> really nice of you, Kevin. I think Great it's life. good to put the pressure on because that's turned out to be one of my best deals. You bet it was one of his best deals. While most of the sharks were out for blood. You have failed to get your message across, and I'm listening with both ears wide open. Don't listen to a word she said. Mark threw Stefan Arstall's paddleboard company a lifeline. I'm willing to give you $150,000 for 30% of the company. So let's do it. Woo! Whoa, did not see that I coming. I did not see that coming. The result? A reported $25 million in sales. He's returned my money, you know, 12, 15 times over already. Lots of money made for the sharks, but what is the daddy of all deals? Two words, scrub daddy. Lori has this uh, this little sponge and she's claiming, scrub I don't believe daddy. her, that she's doing $80 million, and that's what she claims. Right? So you I think that they, you don't I don't believe her, her at all. I believe her. Why would I believe her? <laughs> According to Lori Grenier, that number is even higher. In just four years, we have hit 110 million in retail sales. That would make this smiley-faced sponge the ultimate Shark Tank success story. It's like the post-it. You're like, I use it every yeah. day. Yes. But Why remember, let, those are the this? best. The ones where you walk in, you say, why didn't I think of that? Every morning, I wake up with a new vengeance to make sure that no one takes our title as the most successful item in the history of the show. But there is another business nipping at its tail. Introducing the Simply Fit Board. When mother-daughter team Linda Clark and Gloria Hoffman pitched their exercise board to the Sharks last year, yeah, on, yeah. Gloria said she had $52 in her bank account. You look like two old men out. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, I'm getting dizzy. Stop that. <laughs> the team paired with Lori to create an infomercial in several languages. Par jour avec la planche Simply Fit Board. And distributed it internationally. Soy Lori Grenier de Shark Tank. Hola, soy Lori Grenier. <laughs> yeah, she may be selling it, and I don't know if she's making money. I'm sure she's selling a lot because the commercials keep on running, but that doesn't make it a good product. Sorry, Lori.
Oh, uh, you're so jealous. Bottom line is Mark, if she's profitable. selling it, how is it not a good product? You can do the hokey pokey for 12 hours a day. That doesn't mean you're going to be simply fit. The bottom line, it's been simply successful. When something changes your life, it's a crying moment. Simply Fit Board's reported retail sales have hit $96 million in just 15 months. And remember Gloria, who only had $52 in her bank account? She just bought a luxury home for her and her two boys with cash. It truly is the American dream. Overnight, my whole life changed. So what's so remarkable about Shark Tank for me is watching the level playing field of the show. There are no barriers to entry. You walk in, you make your pitch. But I need a little help. That's where you guys come in. Everybody's equal, and some people leave with their dream funded. You have a deal. And some people don't. I'm out. But you know, Elizabeth, it's hard. And it should be hard. But the great thing about us is I think none of us see race, color, sex. We just see, are green. these people adding value? Good idea. <laughs> the carpet is the ultimate equalizer. We just see green. Yeah. <laughs>